All right, now, security office terminal. Authorization policies. All personnel must pass through decontamination when entering or exiting the facility. All personnel must display a rank 22 at minimum security badge with updated photo ID. Failure will result in immediate security lockup until the person may be questioned and confirmed. Guests must present a signed letter of approval from General Rawlings and employee point of contact. All guests must display a guest badge with limited access. Guests must be accompanied at all times. Guests found unattended will be held for questioning and the point of contact will be responsible for their actions. Security protocol reference. This is what we need to know. So it lists all the different kinds. We're in an Epsilon 6. In the event of a fault in the code conditioning protocol, resulting in a mass uprising of the robot janitorial staff, any Class 2 supervisor is authorized to declare an Epsilon 6 security alert. If such an alert is initiated, all security and defense systems will activate. Remote terminal functions will be disabled, and the control center will enter an automated lockdown state. Facility staff are advised to arm themselves and shelter in place. An external review will be conducted by the Military Robotics Oversight Committee. within 10 business days to determine the appropriate course of action. This alert may be terminated, one, by remote authorization from the MROC, or two, by the facility administrator from the master control terminal in the control center. As a failsafe, if the control center has been compromised, a limited manual override can be initiated from the elevator access terminal in security room three. Voice print identification of three registered Class II supervisor level employees is required to activate the override. Okay. 